occasion of Independence Day, we have decided to go the whole nine yards. If you thought you knew everything there was to know about draping a sari, well, let us show you a new drape or two. And considering my sari state of affairs, I think I need those lessons more than anyone else. Of us are blessed with sexy waists like this one here. We certainly aren't. But guess what? Satyapal has decided to come to our rescue. And if you thought draping those six yards is the most difficult thing you've ever done, this time we are going to make sure all your questions are answered. Independence Day is just around the corner and I'm sure all of us are feeling a little more patriotic than usual. It's the time to celebrate anything and everything Indian and maybe revisit something long forgotten. Yes, ladies, if this isn't the weekend to chuck your jeans and tees, we don't know what is. If you're looking to go the whole six yards, well, you might need a little help along the way, which is precisely where we come in. Uh, we've got Ababil with us. Now, Ababil, uh, please tell us how you're going to help us through this. Okay, today we've picked up two saris from our signature line mm -hmm. and we're going to help you drape these saris in a more fashionable way. Right. See, this particular one is a striped, uh, it's dyed, it's Georgette fabric. This is a very fine solstice lace. Mm -hmm. The work that you see on it is of very high quality. It's called Kaddana work. Right. This is pretty sari mm -hmm. again. It is from our signature series. This is uh, a tonal Georgette fabric, screen printed. The work on it is completely ornamental. Like A well-worn sari or well-draped sari should ideally have five to six pleats. Remember that. We are going to uh, now try and drape the sari on our own and that's where lies the real test. So off we go. Um, I guess it's time to come clean. I'm actually a bit of an expert when it comes to draping saris. It's a decent attempt. What say you? But the same can definitely not be said for Suprita. Yes, it's a rather sorry state of affairs. This was the trickiest part. My years of sari wearing experience came a cropper. This is six yards, feels a hundred. But again, don't let that discourage you. As they say, patience and perseverance pays. Eventually. But this is the first time I've ever been able to hold a sari together myself. Um, I'm just hoping the pins stay in place while well, we go around town and party a little bit. Bye bye boring denims. Who says the sari isn't the most stylish way to go? 